okay modelers so today we've got something a little bit different um some of you that know me with my models i love me some star wars stuff i absolutely adore star wars and i've been a huge fan i've seen the first movie when it first come out um, in a small town of Blackwell, way out west um, and ever since then just been in love with the whole star wars thing and yesterday i was around my friend's shop and uh, he had these up on the shelf and I know these are meant to be sort of toys, like a bit of an introduction to model building, I guess, but, but they're like a snap tight kit. Um, and they, they got, you know, lights and sound and all that sort of thing. So you can snap them together and then run around and play with the things. So they're sort of like a toy, but to me, it's, it's like a great introduction to actually doing modeling, like putting kits together, like things that are not in one piece when you buy them and you can you know, take them straight out and run around with them. These are actually like you've got to put them together first and then you might be able, you can play with them or whatever. Um, and I've actually seen a few of these on the net and they do build up really nice. They've got some beautiful detail in, in them. Um, now one thing that has changed from when I first seen these come out is the pricing. Uh, when they first come out they're, they're reasonably cheap. Um, here in Australia they've actually gone up in price. I think it might be to do with the, um, the, the dollar exchange and um, like the importing and that. So they're not actually that cheap anymore. Like this one here was about fifty dollars, I think. Um, but even so, I mean, it's not over the top, um, to be honest. Like for for what you're getting, because you know, if you're talking lights and sounds, and it is that toy, and um, the engineering that's got in these kits is really nice. And like I say, really nice moulding on them too. So um, yeah, so I thought I'd buy one of these. We'll see how it goes together and all that sort of thing. I'll just do a, a, an inbox review for this video. Um, in the next few days, when I get time, I'll try and get to get this thing together. I'll do a video of me putting it together. And, of course, being a modeler, um, I'm going to do some weathering that on it as well. Um, but we'll just do a bit of an inbox review today. Have a quick look at what you get in the box for the money. And to be honest, the, the box art on that is just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And I've seen um, my mate's got the TIE Fighter in there, and he's also got the, uh, the X-Wing, the new X-Wing. Um, and they're just beautiful box art. They really are absolutely gorgeous. But then again, anything with Star Wars on it or something I like anyway. But um, yeah, it's got your, your age levels there. And all it says here, plug and play, uh, build and play, snap tight. Uh, and this is the Millennium Falcon, obviously. Uh, the rest of the box here, just a little bit more info. It's the same as the top there. And on the back, you've got some lovely pictures of the, the actual model itself. These are the parts that go together. Um, and this is the actual thing all stuck together. So obviously the engines at the back all light up with that There's a clear blue strip over there with the um, with all the vents and everything for the, the actual engine lighting up At the back and down the bottom here. You can actually see some of the others that they've got marked down here um, That's the TIE fighter my mate's got in the shop and I think that's the that's the X-wing there that he's got in the shop um, So there's there's a few available. There's not just like the one kit there um, you got you got a bit of a choice there of what you want to get. So we'll open the box up here, guys, and we'll see what we've got inside. Okay, so a little bag of goodies have fallen out here. Um, obviously, these are all little parts that go on around. I can see our cockpit there in the bag. Um, here's our guns, our cannons, laser cannons there. I'll, I'll quickly open this bag up, guys, because I'm going to be doing it in the next few days anyway so it's not going to matter that it's open it's nice if we can find one handy here somewhere there we go normal way has got a sharp blade line around here somewhere i can cut myself with and we'll open it up and have a look okay we'll have a look at the molding on these oh beautiful molding on these i'm actually really impressed with the molding on those very very nice and you see um on there the molding that's on the inside of that Okay, absolutely beautiful stuff. Lovely. So, you know, honestly, you can do a bit of weathering on these and they're going to be probably not every bit as good as, like, say, a, um, one of the newer the newer kits. But, um, honestly, they'll be beautiful. Anyway, the cockpit's obviously blacked out. Um, it's not it's not clear, so you can't see into the cockpit, but it's all black blackened windows, which is fine for what you get, you know, for what this thing is. Uh, there's some more there, they're all blacked out as well. But just looking at the detail that's, that they put in there is nice. There's our little radar. <coughs> yeah, look at that fella. You see the detail that's on the plastic in that. Very, very nice, guys. So, yep, yeah, that's all those. And, and the laser cannons, they are what you expect them to be. They don't pop up or anything, they're just 
moulded into the top there but obviously you can see that they're the laser cannons um, you can see the tips of the barrels are actually actually um, moulded onto there so if you want to have those separate you'll have to cut those off there but I don't get something you're really going to notice to be honest and pull this out. okay so we've got there's our clear blue strip for our engines at the back of the Millennium and we've got our instruction sheets here and have a look at these we'll have a quick look and see what we've got in our instructions Okay, so those pegs there, those guys are your landing gear, they're your feet that she stands on, so that's your first step of putting those into the bottom. And like we say, this is all like snap. So as you can see, it's just like click, 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 click. It's it's not like a, a big complicated build process, but for a, a kid who's um, never built a kit before, this is a, a great starting idea, like something they don't have to use glue and they don't have to trim plastic up, because this stuff's not on sprues where you have to clean up where you cut it away from the sprue and all that sort of thing they're just all separated already so they're clean you just got to snap them together and at the end of it the, the, the kid can play with it now I know myself as a kid I would have absolutely just gone mad over something like this it would have been absolutely awesome and the pride you feel in putting it together and then being able to you know, turn it on and make sounds and there's lights and you can run around and make all the Star Wars noises and things like that I'm not saying I won't do that as an adult either but for a kid that would be that would be absolutely awesome and we're looking at um, there's a, where the batteries sit and all that sort of thing tells you what the batteries are and that's pretty much it guys very very simple but it's a really great starting point for for the young ones who haven't done any and here's our two halves they are they're actually separated in the box there's a bit of plastic at either end that holds them apart like that so don't think that they're rattling around there guys they're actually really well packaged and that the detail on this for what it is is just gorgeous i'm absolutely loving that absolutely beautiful we've got our the, the bits of color there where the, the falcon's got those couple of bits of color in there um the color's a bit broken up i can see in the red there and one of the bits of blue but that's fine because i'm going to be weathering this thing anyway to make it look like the falcon like she's been used sort of thing um, and there's all your all the base there where everything gets sort of clipped you know all gets sort of clipped together there um actually that's yeah i was going to say that's actually the bottom so like even like that's the bottom you, you're probably hardly ever going to see that um, unless you unless you have it sitting on a mirror but just the detail they put in there i mean this is one of them places where some of the older toys they used to skimp the bottom had you know hardly any detail just a base mold shape sort of thing they didn't they wouldn't have put detail like this and it's absolutely absolutely beautiful um hopefully you can see, you're picking all that up on the camera like um down in these recesses all that beautiful tubing and piping and absolutely beautiful and that's the bottom of it so that's more like the top absolutely gorgeous look at that absolutely beautiful it's one of those things guys just holding my hand is just like making me happy this is just looks beautiful this thing um, i mean this is probably not like your fine mold 70 second scale type detail but i'm telling you that for for what this is is absolutely gorgeous really loving it again all your colors I pulled on there your blue and your red patching. Um, I'll get it up a little bit closer so you can see some of this gorgeous moulding that's on here. Absolutely beautiful stuff. So obviously once you do a bit, a bit of a wash around a lot of this, you know this is just going to pop. All that detail is going to pop out at you. A bit of weathering, dirty or up a bit. Beautiful stuff. Just forgive the noise of the plane in the background, guys. And we'll know I live at an airport here, so we get that every now and then. But that's, um, that's pretty much all that's in the box anyway, guys. That's, um, that's the end of it. And I can't help myself. I'm going to have to sort of quickly put that on there and have a quick look at it. So, I mean, it's a good, it's a, it's a reasonably good size. It's not like something that's going to disappear and very nice, actually. Um, it's just screaming that, you know, like build a, a simple little base for it to sit on or maybe even have a mirror if you want to show off that underneath detail. Well, I don't think I'd worry about that. I think I'd just... I'd love to have it sitting on some sort of base where she's just parked up. But um, yeah, guys, honestly, very, very impressed with that. So if you get a chance to have a look at one of these things, by all means, have a look because I'm, I'm sure, like me, in real life, when you see this thing, you'll be impressed. And I can't see any flashing around in the areas. I can see yeah, a couple of little bits of, well, it's not flashing, but it's a little bit of a mist molding around the front of there. 
um, but honestly really really clean so it's something that you know a kid starting off like I say they'll be able to put these things together really really well um, they, and from what I know they're really good fits they just snap in straight away there's no mucking around with them I know some of the original snap kits that used to get special for cars and that were a little bit iffy in places but apparently these ones are absolutely beautifully engineered so anyway guys that's pretty much the end of the review. Um, I, I will probably put some links down below for this kit, like at eBay and Amazon and that. If you use my links, um, obviously that comes back to me, credits me for sending people that way, which I'd appreciate. But um, I'll just, if I find them, I'll put some links down there so you can go and have a check on the prices. I'm not sure in America what your prices are like there, but here in Australia, these aren't really that cheap anymore. Um, but to me, they're a very special item. It's, it's just something new for the Star Wars collection. Um, so yeah, I'll put those links down there guys, and like always, all my other links are down there, my Patreon and all that sort of thing, um, my Facebook page, all that sort of stuff, it'll all be down below there, um, and like always guys, if you like the video, <clears throat> give me a thumbs up, if you haven't subbed, hit the sub button down there, um, and like always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.